South Dakota lawmaker announces his retirement. We'll tell you why Stace Nelson says he's leaving politics. Crews were back outdoors this weekend looking for Serenity Denard. We'll tell you which areas they searched. A well-known part of downtown Sioux Falls is closing down for repairs. We'll tell you when the 8th Street Bridge will be shutting down and for how long. Good morning. This is Kelloland on the go with all you need to know in news and weather as you start your day. We'll have your top news headlines in just a bit, including what you can expect from tonight's winter Doppler special. But it sounds like today's weather will feel more like fall than Great. winter. That's a nice change. Uh, let's get a check on your forecast with meteorologist Scott Mutt. Well, good morning, you two. It's already mild. Temperatures this morning already in the 30s, 40s, and 50s. And as we do go through the day today, you can expect strong northwest winds in the western South Dakota. But the warm weather will probably stick with us. Isolated showers this morning. There may be one or two for this afternoon, but a lot of that will move to the east and southeast as we do go through the afternoon hours and into this evening. And it looks like mostly clear skies for the overnight, eventually becoming partly cloudy by tomorrow morning. More details on your forecast coming up with Brian Karstens. Thanks, Scott. South Dakota State Senator Stace Nelson says he is retiring from politics. In a post on the senator's Facebook page, he says injuries related to his time in the military have slowed him down through the years. But he says that isn't the only reason for his decision. He also says he's had frustrations this year with how state elected officials responded to the flooding that devastated much of Kelloland. Nelson says his retirement is effective December 10th. New this morning, two people are hurt in after a crash in northeastern Kelloland. It happened at around 6.45 last night near Highway 28 and Highway 15, which is a few miles east of the Toronto Esteline exit on I-29. The Dual County Sheriff's Office says an SUV was heading east on Highway 28 when a vehicle heading south on Highway 15 didn't stop at the stop sign and hit it. Both vehicles rolled and one of them hit a power box. Paramedics took both drivers to the Brookings Hospital with minor injuries. Officials are still investigating. Crews were back outside this weekend looking for Serenity Denard. The girl has now been missing for more than nine months. The nine-year-old walked away from the Black Hills Children's Home Society on February 3rd. The Pennington County Sheriff's Office posted these pictures online. They say the Northern Hills Wolf Pack was out yesterday helping in the search. According to the post, the team worked some ridges and hillsides along with a drainage that had a creek and a pond. A well-known Sioux Falls bridge is going to be closing for repairs. Dina Knutson, the civil engineer with the city of Sioux Falls, tells us that the 8th Street Bridge will be closed for construction from spring of 2020 to fall of 2020. The bridge itself will be closed um, just because of the, the nature of the fix. We have to, when we pull the surface off and we pull the insides of the bridge out, it has to be equally loaded and equally unloaded. So therefore, we can't keep traffic on half of it. Although it's closing for repairs, Knutson says the bridge is safe to be on. There will be an open house on this project tomorrow at the city center from 5 to 6. Well, we're over halfway through November, and that means winter is getting closer and closer. That's right. You'll want to prepare for the colder months ahead by watching our Kelloland Winter Doppler Special. It airs tonight at 6.30. Our team of meteorologists have been researching weather patterns and trends, so you'll know what to expect as we head into winter. And, of course, there will be Scott Munt's snowfall prediction. Any hints, Brian? Mm, no hints at all coming from me. But stay tuned because there's always some interesting nuggets of information there that Scott, yeah, he does a lot of work on that. So stay tuned for that. In the meantime, today, we got a little wind blowing across Kettleland, but the winds are blowing in some milder weather. So, you know, we can kind of take that when temperatures are in the 50s and even a few 60s. Uh, but Sioux Falls by early evening will pick up our wind a bit. Maybe some gusts near 30. We'll throttle down the wind tomorrow. And as we look at the weather maps the next 24 to 48 hours, you'll see a, just a bit of light rain could reappear on radar here early this afternoon in the northeast. Whatever does develop, though, is pretty fast moving. So clearing tonight. Tomorrow, we set up a weak frontal boundary. That'll have more of an effect in northeast South Dakota. But then that front will reverse and become a warm front as we get into Wednesday, and that's going to set up our system, which will be developing to our south. No rain, no snow yet Wednesday morning, but 
Wednesday night could prove to be a little bit more interesting there. We are eyeing this system as it comes into the weather maps there uh, by midweek, and it should produce some rain and snow for us at that point. And we've upped the chance of rain and snow to 50% in Sioux Falls Thursday. You notice our temperature takes a hit. Uh, down in the 30s, upper 30s on Thursday, but we should see that system moving in and out. So 40s by the start of the weekend. I'm not thinking a long term uh, cooler pattern, but a dip in Aberdeen, certainly entertaining some snow possibilities. Right now, nothing that looks overly threatening for a wide area. We're just looking at ma mainly some nuisance type snows with some wind. And of course, you see our temperature forecast for Pier. It's just marginally cold enough for snow. Daytime highs are still above freezing. And we should warm up again. Look at the end of the week in rapid. 48 by Saturday, 47 Sundays. So a pretty good forecast. Just those midweek rain and snow chances, guys. All right. Thanks, Brian. Thanks for joining us for Kelloland on the go. Be sure to join us on air for midday in Kelloland. Until then, you can get up to the minute developments right here on Kelloland.com. Now go have a great day.